A half a year later, DreamWorks released Shark Tale. It's about Oscar, a fish, who ran away from a great white shark. Suddenly, an anchor dropped onto the shark's head and died. After that, Oscar lies by saying that he killed the shark. Then, Lenny, the brother of the dead shark, who is a vegetarian, so in a way he's like Edward from Twilight, except when Lenny's on, he's tolerable. Anyways, he teams up with Oscar because his family is trying to find him so that they can kill him for revenge. Originally, the title of the film was supposed to be Shark Slayer, since that's what they call Oscar after the shark died. Jeffrey Katzenberg decided to change it to Shark Tale a year before its release. He thinks that calling it Shark Slayer will scare families away instead of attracting them. Maybe people will think that with a title like that, it'll be like a major R-rated action movie with swords, giant sharks attacking, and blood coming out like Diet Coke with Mentos. Actually, this sounds like a pretty cool movie. Yeah, it's like 300 meat jaws and- WAIT A MINUTE! What the hell am I talking about? Let's go back to Shark Tale! Early in production, James Gandolfini was considered to do Don Leno, the dad of the dead shark, Christopher Walken to do Luca, and Sasha Baron Cohen to do one of the jellyfish. During that time, composer Hans Zimmer was starting to be tired of scoring epic movies. So, to take a break from it, he decided to call Katzenberg to score for this film so he can try a fun animated film for a change. When it was released, it was pretty good at the box office with $367 million worldwide, but with the critics, whew, it got ugly. They mostly gave it negative reviews, and Roger Ebert said that the kids would get confused because it's like a parody of The Godfather, and compared it to films like The Little Mermaid, Finding Nemo, and the SpongeBob SquarePants movie by saying that they went on a better road than Shark Tale. And what's worse, many Italian-Americans think that it promotes stereotypical ideas about Italian-Americans, and many gay groups think that Lenny is, in a way, gay himself. 